my friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today is Saturday and it is massive, massive, massive grocery haul day. I actually shopped at three stores. I went to Trader Joe's and picked up all their holiday things that I couldn't resist, so stay tuned for that. We did Sam's Club and I shopped at my local Kroger store. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday. All of the WW points are also included in my hauls. Down in the description box, you'll find nutrition coaching, highly recommend, personalized macros and calories. I have followed my personalized macros and have lost 140 pounds, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, come join us, we'd love to have you, are all down in that description box. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's massive grocery haul. So let's start off this massive, and when I say massive, the biggest haul I've done in years with my Trader Joe's haul and my Sam's Club haul. I had a good time shopping, picked up everything we were low on, found some new things, grabbed my holiday favorites from Trader Joe's, so let's jump in. Starting with Trader Joe's, I'm so excited. They had their dog advent calendar, salmon, sweet potato dog treats, so I of course got two, one for Lola, one for Palmer. My dogs, within a couple days, know the routine that they get their advent calendar thing every single morning, so I grabbed those, and then I also picked myself up the chocolate advent calendar. The chocolate in here is actually really good, and it's $2, so I grabbed that for me. I love to have a little sweet treat every morning for an advent calendar, and then I also picked up the 12 Days of Beauty. I buy this every single year. Now, they had a 12 Days of Candles, it was $30 though, and I thought that was kind of a lot because they were just little teeny tin candles. So I didn't grab that. I probably should have, but I didn't. But I always get this every year. I think this one's a really good deal. I will unbox this on my beauty channel, so make sure you're subscribed. I'll link it down below for you. And then I grabbed these garlic and herb chicken sausages. I want to make a scramble with eggs, hash brown sausage. I want to have that for breakfast. And these ones actually had only 130 calories and 17 grams of protein. I checked all of the sausage options at Trader Joe's for protein, and these were by far the highest protein versus calorie. Now, I did get one candle, only because you guys know we love pine in this house. This is the cedar balsam. I like the Trader Joe's candles. I don't feel like they have the best throw, so I like to burn them in small rooms, like my bedroom, my office, a bathroom, but this one actually smells absolutely amazing, so I did grab that, and those ones are $3.99. That's partially why I didn't get the advent calendar, too. They were so small, and then I got these. These are boozy little chocolate truffles. These are for my mom. My mom is coming to visit, actually, today. I'm picking her up today, so I grabbed these for her. Her birthday is coming up in a couple days, so I thought that I would give those to her. That way, she has a little truffle, and my mom loves her chocolate. And then this is something I've actually never bought from Trader Joe's. These are the Apple Chip Duo. So it's dried, crinkle cut, red and green apples. There's nothing in here but the apples. So I thought that that would be a nice kind of crunchy snack and it would be zero points because it's just dried apples. There's no added sugar. I got some of the organic microgreens. I saw another video where someone topped their avocado toast with these and sandwiches and I thought, that's a good way to get in all those micronutrients. So I picked that up for my sandwiches and avocado toast. I've been eating avocado toast a lot. And then I got fresh cranberries because I want to do a recipe utilizing fresh cranberries. And Trader Joe's are my favorite and really affordable. And then I'm really excited for this. This is the holiday vegetable hash. So it's butternut squash, sweet potato, red onion, celery, parsley, sage, and rosemary. I'm going to mix this in the scramble with the sausage and the potatoes, and then that'll be a really good veggie. I got the Trader Joe's cornbread stuffing mix for Thanksgiving. We're having Thanksgiving at our house with my in-laws, so I thought I could make up some stuffing. I got my dogs the peanut butter banana dog treats. Palmer doesn't really like crunchy treats, but I know he'll eat those ones, so I grabbed those, and then I had to pick these up. These are the Christmas sprinkles. You guys know I make my famous sugar cookies every year. I'm making them for my boot camp party. We're invited to another Christmas party, so I'm going to make them for that as well. These are $1.99. That's a killer deal for sprinkles. So I went ahead and just 
grab those while I was there. I also picked up these rosemary raisin crisps. I thought these would be really good with Laughing Cow cheese, and I can put them on a charcuterie board. I'm thinking of doing that for Thanksgiving, and I thought they would be a nice addition to the board. And then I did pick up some of our frozen staples. Troy loves the fettuccine alfredo. He also likes the chicken fried rice and the ravioli. So I grabbed those, and then I picked up some everything but the bagel seasoning because I'm almost out, and I've been utilizing this a lot on my my avocado toast. Light mozzarella cheese because the Trader Joe's is my all-time favorite. Low calorie, low point, and it's really good. And then I did let myself get one treat. These are my favorite holiday things that come out at Trader Joe's. Usually I buy everything and I'm limiting myself this year. So I grabbed the mini gingerbread people. These are fantastic. If you haven't tried them, they're absolutely delicious. And then I got my dogs, the little stuffies treats. I thought they would like these. Pumpkin, maple bacon flavor. And lastly, I picked up my favorite kombucha because Trader Joe's always comes in with the favorite kombucha. This is the Gratitude. This one is apple, turmeric, carrot, and spices. I love this. And I've been trying to drink like half a bottle of kombucha a couple of times a week. So that is everything from Trader Joe's. Let's go ahead and jump into Sam's Club. So the first thing I picked up from Sam's Club, I have a huge haul, is toilet paper. They were out of the Sam's Club brand. So I bought the Charmin and then I got paper towels because these were actually on sale. So they were the same price as the Sam's Club brand. I got taco seasoning because we were almost out and this is just such a great deal. It's about $5. I got a Meprazole for Troy. I wasn't sure if he needed it and then when I got home he reminded me he has a prescription so now he has extra this is currently on sale for eight dollars and then I also got the canned ravioli he loves these and then that way he has these on hand for a quick easy meal and then I picked him up the Bertoli Alfredo sauce as well just again I can make chicken Alfredo or some type of Alfredo quick and easy for a dinner. And then I picked up my favorite tortillas. These are the little mini ones from Mission, the Zero Carb. I love these. They are the perfect size. Troy actually likes these little tortillas as well. And it was $4 for two packs. And I pay $4 for one pack. I also got my favorite True Fruit, one of my very favorite sweet treats. These are the Hyper Dried Strawberries in White and Dark Chocolate. I love these. They're amazing. They have nice, clean ingredients. They really are truly a perfect sweet treat. I usually just have one or two and it just satisfies the chocolate sweet tooth. And then I got some black forest ham for Troy and for myself for sandwiches. And then I got some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese sticks. I have the Frigo ones. They're not my favorite. I mean, I'll eat them, but I thought these would be a little bit better. And the macros are pretty much the same as the Frigo. And then I got Canadian bacon because we love this for breakfast sandwiches. Such a great high protein, low cal, low point option. And then I got these for Troy. These were on sale for $12, which was a really good deal. They're little double salami packs. So basically it's dried salami in a little pack, like a to-go thing. So I thought that would be really good for him when he's out and about. They'd be great if we go jeeping or even for me as a high protein snack. Waco's triple zero yogurt was on sale. You know, I love my Chobani zero, but this one was only $10 for, let's see, 12, 18 yogurt. So that's amazing. 15 grams of protein. Definitely couldn't pass that up. And then I did get the big, huge, massive tortillas for Troy as well. I know he likes the little ones, but he likes to do peanut butter and things in these big tortillas. And the price is just so good at Sam's Club. I also got a two pack of Thomas English muffins. These were $4. And at the grocery store, they're $4 per six pack. So it's basically like buy one, get one free. So I grab those and we can just throw them in the freezer. And then I did pick up the Caramel Premier Protein. I always buy protein shakes at Sam's Club and Costco. I was excited about these. I actually had some of these on the way home as a snack. These are the Blue Diamond Almonds Snickerdoodle flavor. These are really good. They have a little bit of a cinnamony, kind of sweet coating on them. They're delicious. Same macros as regular almonds, like if you buy the bold almonds. And they also have five grams of protein. So I thought that was going to be just kind of a fun, more healthy snack. Grab Troy his bar soap, his Dove soap, and then down there, tucked down is a big pack of Kleenex. The Puffs Plus Lotion was on sale for $12, which is a killer deal. The Kleenex, the regular ones were 18. So I went ahead and got, grabbed the Puffs. I also got some avocados because I've been eating avocado every day. And then I got bananas because I've been wanting bananas. And this whole bundle was $1.50. And then I picked up some frozen tilapia fillets. I've been trying to eat a little bit more fish. It's really high in protein, really low calories, zero points. And I thought frozen would make more sense than fresh. It would definitely last longer. This is three pounds and they're individually wrapped and it was $10. So I thought that was an excellent deal. And speaking of excellent deal, this is a four pound bag of apples, the Honeycrisp apples. This was 
$5. So that is also a very good deal. I picked up some fabric softener because we were completely out and then I grabbed another big box of Tide Pods. I also picked up a big case of Gatorade Zero which is in the garage. And then last but not least they had the Jimmy Dean fully cooked sausage patties for $7 for 24 and I think I pay $5 for 6 or eight at the grocery store. So I grabbed the turkey for me and then I picked up just the original pork for Troy. So that way we have these on hand makes again, really quick, easy breakfast sandwiches and breakfast sides. Let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the haul. And here's the last of my grocery haul. This is from Kroger, my local fry store. I also have a case of water and some Diet Coke that is being put away in the garage. So let me show you the last of this week's massive grocery haul. I grabbed some unsweetened applesauce because I'm almost out and we're getting into where I'm going to wanna bake and do things for the holidays. So I picked up a huge container and then I needed some instant rice for a recipe. You guys will actually see what I'm doing for dinners and meal prep after the grocery haul, so stay tuned till the end of the video. I picked up these pecan rolls for Troy. They didn't have a lot in their reduced bakery section. I always like to buy him something. I'm hoping he'll eat these because I don't know if he actually likes pecans. I know he can't have almonds because he's allergic, fun fact, but I think he'll eat these. So I grabbed these for him. The whole thing was $2.50. Speaking of reduced, I stopped by the meat section and I found this 93.7 ground turkey taco seasoned, which sounds really good. Pick that up. I'm just going to cook that up and have it for me for a quick, easy protein. And then they had a pound of 90.10 organic ground beef for $5.43. And then I had a $1.50 coupon. So I paid less than $4 for this, which is really, really good. This is grass fed, grass finished organic ground beef. And then I also picked these up. I'm going to cook these up again. Just have them on hand as a protein option. These are 93.7 hamburger patties. I also grabbed some cheese, just some of my favorite really thick shredded cheese. I like this on salads, on my eggs. I just like this when I really want to taste the cheese versus light cheese. So I bought that. I'm excited for it. It was on sale. I did get quite a few canned goods. First is some enchilada sauce. I have a really good recipe coming your guys way. Like I said, we'll talk about recipes after the haul. And then I picked up a can of diced tomatoes for a recipe, some maraschino cherries for my meal prep, some pineapple rings for my meal prep. And then for a different recipe, I needed a can of black beans and a can of pinto beans. And then of course, the typical two gallons of skim milk for Troy. And then I grabbed another refill of my Fairlife milk because I'm making something in my meal prep that requires milk and I didn't want to run out. This is also a staple for me when I make frozen or blended protein shakes. And then just a little bit of fruit. You saw that I got some at Costco as well. Raspberries were $1.49 a pack. And my mom ate all the raspberries when she was here, which was fine. So I actually grabbed four packs. I'm gonna wash these up and get them ready for the week. And then of course, the typical veggie tray that Troy loves to get every single week. You guys, he eats this within days. And like I said, I'm not gonna be mad about him eating his vegetables, so I picked that up. And then lastly, a bunch of broccoli. This is for a recipe. So that's everything from my massive grocery haul. Let's go ahead and jump in to what's for dinner and what you'll see in meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. Today, Saturday, we're going out for dinner for my birthday and Troy's birthday. Tomorrow, I'm going to do tacos, but then Monday, I'm going to make a taco soup. You guys will actually see this recipe in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday is grilled cheese and tomato soup night. And then Thursday and Friday, we do leftovers as well, just to finish up everything from earlier in the week. And then for breakfast meal prep, I'm going to be making protein chia pudding. I've been craving chia pudding ever since I went to Texas. So I'm going to make my own version high protein. And then for lunch, I'm doing a chicken and broccoli casserole. And then I'm going to make pineapple upside down protein cake. So everything is very, very high protein. So definitely stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. Thank you so much for joining me for another weekly grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from three stores. We are stocked up and good to go. We don't need to do a stock up haul for quite a while. If you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.